Nearly caught me. Okay, so today I'm walking down the worn out paths and windy creeks of southern Australia. On this trip I'm hoping to find the wide range of wildlife that lives among this area, from goannas, snakes and more. Here's what I caught and how I caught it. Okay, so we're up on this mountain and what I'm doing is I've come up here because this is such a good vantage point that I can actually spot wildlife. And there's so many different types of wildlife up here from goannas, deer, snakes, lizards, everything like that. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come down this mountain go down there and see what I can find. So let's go. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're just heading from the top of that mountain. We just came up there and we're heading down the hill, down to a special gully. This creek that we're heading to, it's hundreds of thousands of years old. The animals, they're just coming out to just basically warm up for the day because most of them, they're actually cold blooded. So we'll just, um, what's that up there? Shoot the car, shoot the car. Okay, so what we just found here is it's a beautiful coastal carpet python. Now these guys, they can be aggressive, but this guy's pretty calm. He's pretty cold actually. He's probably just come out onto this road to heat up for the morning. But I think since this guy, he'll easily get hit by a car. So we definitely need to move him off the road. So I reckon he's going down to that creek system because that's the way he was going. So we'll just release him just off the side of the road and we'll follow him and see what he does. So let's go. Now after following this big fella for about 20 minutes through the forest, he led us to an amazing creek system. Here's what went down. Okay, so he's just come down all down this bank and he's heading down to the river. And I'm pretty sure he's going to a place where he can bask in the sun. But we'll just keep following him, see what happens. What a beautiful snake. Okay, so this is the coastal carpet python. We're lucky because she was just up on the road there. She could have easily been hit by a car. But luckily she just came down this hill, got herself up on this log. And since they're cold blooded animals, they need heat to survive. So that's what she's doing. She's just warming up for the day. And the more sun that she gets on her skin, the more active she'll get. So she'll probably get a bit aggressive after this. She did have a strike at me before, Ooh. but since it was a pretty cold morning, it didn't even get yep. me. Okay, now these guys, they seem much different to us. They actually see in black and white, as you can see on the screen right now. This is how the snake would be seeing it. But how they hunt is since they see in black and white, they mainly rely on their sense of smell, which comes from their tongue. And you can just see what she does as she's doing just now. She flicks her tongue out like that, and on each part of the tongue, whichever is the strongest scent, that's where she'll go, just like monitor lizards and all other snakes. Now, um, after that, she'll actually strike out at her Ooh. prey, which will probably be rats, possums, anything like that, coil around it, and swallow it whole. And how she swallows it whole without dying from, um, from not being able to breathe, in her tongue, there's a hole in her tongue, and when she's swallowing it, she sticks that out the side so she can actually breathe, which is an amazing adaption. She's a beautiful species of snake, one of the most beautiful species around here. And you're not actually allowed to handle these, but it's just amazing to see, like, look how close I'm getting. She's getting a bit, she's getting a bit worried there because she could take a bite at me. But if I stay calm, she should also, because this is just such an amazing species of snake. If you just look at that, oh. See, when they get in that position, that's the S position, that basically stands for the striking position, but I don't mean her any harm, and I'm sure she doesn't mean me any harm, since they're a non-venomous species of snake. They don't have any fangs, they don't have any venom. Oh. But look at them, they're calm. They're calm, they're not out to hurt you. And this is just a beautiful species of snake, but I think she's actually just heading down to the river there, and she might go for a bit of a swim, so let's go, let's go see what she does. Okay, so she's just coming down to this water source right now. We're gonna see if she, gets in, got the GoPro, might be able to do a bit of swimming with her because that'd be real cool.
hey guys thanks for watching if you liked that video please leave a like be sure to subscribe and I just wanted to thank you so much for this amazing experience girl it's been so cool I'm glad I got to show you all how beautiful these snakes really are and if you like what I do please check me out on Instagram at Miller Wilson Snapchat at Miller underscore Wilson and Facebook at Miller Wilson thanks